and so therefore and up, I lose you, I set you free. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. Our Father in heaven, by your authority, I cancel the HIV. You speak of madness, come out in Jesus' name. You are healed. I say you are healed. I use you, I set you free. And that person who has been in there for you cannot deliver. I pray to you, go and deliver like a Hebrew woman in Jesus' name. You are healed. Young man, you are healed. I say you are healed. They told me start 16 years ago, but today God has chosen to break that yoke. Every split of fear paralysis, I rebuke you, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I command every abnormal growth disappear in Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. You are free. 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 the Lord. Hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, you are welcome to yet another special edition of Choosing Revival News CRM program. This program we are bringing to you a special program, program that is very, very interactive. We want you to listen very carefully. In this program, you are going to see the secret. You are going to hear the secret of the devil. We are in the studio with our brother who was formerly, Brother Simeon Oke, who was formerly a member, a grand, awkward grandmaster. He was formerly a native doctor. He was into many courts. We talk about Uboni Aborigin, talk about Hermetic Chain Worldwide, talk about Lodge, and on and on. He was deep into serving the devil until God of Chosen arrested him. We are going to hear from him how the journey was and how he was arrested. Before then, we want to read a place in the Bible. We would like you to call people in your neighborhood to join this program. This program is going to open your eyes to see the powerlessness of the devil and in the fatigability of the power of God of choosing. Let's go to the Bible. In Acts chapter 19, I read from... 11. Are you there? As of Apostle chapter 19, 11. And God wrote special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body we are brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons. And the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. Now look at 13. Emphasis 13. <clears throat> then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, Took upon them to call over them which had the evil spirit, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We are joined you by Jesus, whom Paul preached. And there were seven sons of Sceva, seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests who did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was lived on them and overcame them and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Now look at 19 because of our time. Many of them, people that saw the miracle that Paul did, many of them also, which used curious art, brought their books together. Many of them, which used occultic books. Which means they were occulting people. They were using occulting books. When they saw that the poor has power that passes their own power, the Bible said they brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found fifty and found it fifty thousand pieces of silver. So madly grew the word of God and prevailed. The point we want to drive in here is that. Before these people could bring out their occultic books and burn them, they saw power that passes power. That is to say that before our brother 
surrendered such position he was holding for the devil he must have encountered the power that passes the power so we are going to go on a short break when we come back we are going to hear from the horse's mat please don't go away we'll be right back viewers you are welcome back now we have with me i have with me here brother simeon okeke whom i told you before we went on short break that he was into occultism he was even a native doctor a renowned native doctor we are going to give him opportunity to tell us how he was or he joined those occultism and how god of chosen arrested him but as simon you are welcome thank you very much can you tell us your name once again tell us where you're coming from so that the people can enjoy the testimony praise the lord hallelujah Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good. All the time. Our God is awesome God. Before I go ahead to make myself known, I would want to sing this uh, song to honor and appreciate my God. Because he's so wonderful to me. Amen. Amen. Amama masi amasi Amama masi amasi Amama masi amasi Is it Jesus on Mary Amama mama masi amasi Di ubanisi amasi amasi Unye ni mi ma ma si a ma si Di gara chuzi na ma si a ma si A ma 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 si a ma si Ji u ba jai ra ma si a ma si A ma 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 si a ma si E zi jizos o nyuku A ma ra na chuku horomu na nya Ji u ba ni si horomu na nya Unye ni mi ma horomu Nanya, di goro moka horo monanya, di goro chuzi horo monanya, ume karike horo monanya, asisana sanjo horo monanya, di goro moka horo monanya, chupu karibia horo monanya, wayenje mono horo monanya, ibabu no horo monanya, odigi chige merembo, Karia chuku Onye 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 Gemerimbu Karia chuku Onye 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 Gemerimbu Karia Chimbo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I am Pastor Simeon. Okay, okay. I am from Uli, in Ihar, local government area of Anambra State. To be precise, my village is Omwako. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I just want to. Thank God for the journey so far, my life, how God has been so faithful unto me. But I am very, very happy, very grateful unto God for not allowing me to die. Oh my God. Even when I have never repented. I want to give him all the glory. Thank you, God. May Jesus. all honor be ascribed unto Lord him in Jesus' pastor name. We worship you. In fact, <clears throat> sometimes I always nailed in my house, in my closest. I begin to thank God and glorify his name from morning to night to the following day because I know who I was <clears throat> and I know what God has done for me in this ministry. Amen. Honestly, if I forget about every other thing in life, I begin to serve this God to the end of my life. I have no regrets. Because of what God of choosing has done for me. Really, he brought me out of darkness 
into the marvelous light of God. Hallelujah. So I am so happy, so grateful. Okay, uh, you are still uh, keeping us in suspense. Um, we would like to know those things that God did for you. Where did He bring your art from? Because people are watching all over the world to hear this your testimony. Honestly, it's like you are too fast. <laughs> there are bumper package. Okay. I am not afraid of any demon. Hmm. I am not afraid of any nonsense society. Because I know that the heat that is in me hmm. is greater than that in the world. Amen. So I am coming to tell you everything so that people outside there, you outside there, you, in that particular thing you think it can help you. Hmm. I want to tell you today, by the time I finish telling you everything, you will know that where you are is the wrong place. Amen. Hallelujah. So honestly, I was born and brought up by a parent, a father that is a terrible native doctor. In Uli, he is a well-known, renowned native doctor. In fact, he held the position of Ezidibia in the local government area. Hmm. During the war, during the Biafran war, my father was the head of those native daughters then that can point at a airplane and a airplane fall. Hmm. That's my father was the leader then. So I was very small, but I can in fact know exactly what is happening. So that is what made me to pick interest in all those fetish things, the power the command and the respect that my father has for the community then. So I started from a child from the age of six to emulate him and follow him bomber to bomber to get the knowledge of all those things. So I, in fact, became a follower to him. He sent me into bush to approach uh, uh, herbs and uh, roots for him. He taught me how to, the languages that I should speak, to, in fact, to different, various uh, 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 materials for work. There is one you want to approach, there is a special name you call before you, you approach it. There is one we call Okugarite. Hmm. That Okugarite, the general name is Aketa root. We use it for so many things, but if you want to approach it, you must call that name Okugarite. Okugarite, that means if the fire leaves the pot, it will kill the what is inside the pot. Mm. You know the pot is on top of fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is something inside, maybe a yam or a gram. The yam will be will done and the pot will still remain the same thing. So that's Okugarito. We heard it. The fire will leave the pot and kill what is inside the pot. That is what the name you call that root. And if you didn't call that name, it will not answer, it won't work. So he taught me so many names, so many incantations on how you get this and how you get that. So, in fact, I become so excited with all those powers and all those uh, knowledges until I begin to grow up, begin to master those things, some sacrifices, some incantations. In fact, so many things then. I was not the only person, but I took interest. My father got married to so many wives, five wives. Mm. And I was the twelfth out of, what my, out of the children. Mm. But he picked interest in me. Because in during the in fact, their belief, he said I was incarnated by the father, because the father died before they born me. So he said it, yeah, I am his father. So he want to put me on, and the father died very young. My father was the only son. The father died very young, so he wanted me to take to be powerful, so that it may be for revenge of what he did to his father. So he took me so far, and uh, in the secondary school. I continue with that power. Even I do, do everything that is not supposed to be done as a junior student, I do it. And if you touch me as a senior student, I will punish the person. If you flog me, you are in problem. <laughs> so everybody knew me, knew my father. So they were, in fact, afraid of me till I finished the school. Nobody flogged me. So I became acquainted with a uh, court courtis from the age of six and uh, I was initiated into though that one my father is not aware of it when I was initiated 
into confraternity of uh, uh, reform in um, AMOC, resolution order from class two. Okay, before we go into that uh, story of how you were initiated into AMOC, we're going to go on a short break. Viewers, we promise that this interview is going to be explosive. Before we allow him to rail out what he has in stock, call the people in your neighborhood. Let them come and listen so that they can be free. Don't go away. Stay glued to the tele television. We'll be right back. Viewers, you are welcome back. Remember, this is Chosen Revival New CRN program. Now, with me is Brother Simeon, Pastor Simeon Okeke, former occult grandmaster, former native doctor, renowned native doctor, former member of Ubuni Aborigin. Now, you know, before we went on a short break, he wanted to tell us how he was initiated into this Christian Amok. Now, we are going back to him to continue the story. Pastor, you are welcome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as I was saying, I was initiated into uh, Amok, Rescution Order. So, that time in the school, 1977-78. So, there are most of our teachers then that were deeply involved into this uh, cultist. So, they see the interest in most of us then. They picked interest in us, and in fact, they begin to tell us about these things. And those things are the kind of things I like. I love this so much. So we grouped ourselves then. We were initiated into a uh, restriction order, AMOC. So for us, they get all the form. We begin to write to India. We take exams until we pass. So they take us to their local uh, this is in the local government where they hold their meeting. So we are properly initiated and become members of AMOC. So most of us then that were initiated, we form a group. We hired a particular house and we named that place GRB. So the school we were then was uh, Uli High School, Uli. So it was one of the terrible school in Anambra State then. It was that, that time, it wasn't like school, wasn't like this. In fact, it was like university then. Because you will take common trans that we can push you to any good, they can take you to anywhere. So we are, in fact, we have collective, in fact, groups of gang of never doers in the school. Mm. We use gun, though we don't rob, just for formalities. So, we occupied that place, and the owner of the house as well is uh, a friend of my father, a native daughter also. So he handed that place over to me. So we started terrorizing the school, terrorizing that area. In fact, any day you hear that our school is going for a match, football match. In fact, it is don't come out. Because if you come out, you must go in with blood. Mm. That kind of, uh, in fact, a uh, school, a court, we form. Very serious one. What they said it is caught now is no more caught. How then, old were you then? Then I was about uh, 15 years. Okay. 15 years. You know, then we school at the old age. I was 15 years then. Okay. So class two, class three. So this thing continues until uh, I finished in that school. And they came back. Tell my wife, my father, I mean, that I wanted to stand on my own. So my father called me. He said he wanted me to replace him whenever he's no more alive. And that is why he's doing whatever he's doing. He said his father is the one that reincarnated me. And his father died out of intimidations. That he wouldn't want me to die like that. And he wanted me to go and fight revenge. Hmm. He said, I should come inside the chamber, enter there. So he just, I don't know how he cut the war gecko, very big one. 
just by the words I just caught it and asked me to open my mouth. Life one. I opened my mouth, he threw it into my mouth, and I swallowed it with a uh, ogoguru. That is a uh, hot, hot, drink. yes, hot drink. So, in fact, the sensation just entered into me immediately. I became another thing. Himself, my father that gave me that thing, became very little in my eyes. And that was how it is. Then I don't have regard for any human being in life. Even if you are governor, even no matter what, I don't have regard for anybody. Because that thing is just directing me, making me to be bigger than every other person. He want me to be bigger that nobody should intimidate me. That was how it continues. And he prepared for me with many other things. I left to Lagos to establish on my own. So in this Lagos, I met people who are looking for people they will kill spiritually. Who are looking for people they will in fact lure into, into deep of the serving devil. And exactly it is what I needed. I followed them, the Yoruba people. So I joined them. I entered their society. One of the, the highest body of native daughters that have governed the whole Yoruba land. We call it Ewarefa Mefa. Whosoever that is hearing me, you know Ewarefa Mefa. That is the highest governing body of native daughters in Yoruba kingdom. So I entered. I began to work with them. Within two, three years, they make me the equipment of Ewarefa. That is the talk and do. I talk. I decide what happens in that Iwarefa. Hmm. Even at our palace, at number two, Eletu Iwasha Palace at uh, Lagos. That is where we had our headquarters. So I begin to represent my unit at that particular place as the Queen of Iwarefa. So from there, I begin to come and talk, make friends with so many of them because when you enter into the fold of native daughters, there are different kind of people you see from different, uh, in fact, from different places, different culture. They have so many, in fact, everybody has, in Yoruba people, they have so many gods, they serve, and they believe in it. So I have to go closer to them to get most of those things. If you enter my, of my chamber then, there is no type of gods that you won't see there. From village, I have a time every day. I have a ras, I have a worm, I have all this, I have all of them in my chamber. Then I begin to take from Yoruba ones to add. Hmm. So, first of all, they introduce the God of Iron for me in that particular whatever. I install God of Iron. They introduce you. That Yeshu is the God of Devil. I put it in my house. The Ayelala, in my, all of them, so many of them, I was into Efa. Before you tell us about that Efa, we are going to go on a short break. Viewers, I hope you are following this confession, this testimony. The purpose is to tell you that the devil has no power. Call your neighbors to come and watch and hear. They will be liberated. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Viewers, you are welcome back. Stay with me, Pastor Simeon Okeke. You know, before we went on a break, he was telling us many types of gods he had in his possession. So, so I continue from where we stopped. Thank you very much. God bless. So, as I was saying before we go on short break, I have uh, so many gods in my house. Mm -hmm. So I begin to acquire more from the Yoruba people. So I went far, very far in Yoruba culture. Mm -hmm. I followed them to everywhere. In fact, mostly all their gods, I acquired all of them. The one acquired a far that enter Igbo, they call it Igbo, the far or Igbo. My own Ifa enter Igbo. So, so many other things I put in my house, and still, I am not satisfied with all those ones. I'm still looking for more. <laughs> so, then I come in contact with one of my friends, uh, an Ubuni member inside the, the meeting there. 
So I, he told me about the when he said he can see that I am somebody that has mind. So I said there's nothing I cannot do in this in my life. What so far it has to do with acquiring power. So I will do it. He said it is good for me to come enter into their society, separate society. So I've been yes, hearing of Ubuni, but I, in fact, I don't know how the produce say I should come. He invited me to their, their house. So there he explained everything, how they operate, the, 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 in fact, what the benefits of entering into Ubun. Then I see it as something that is good for me, because that is what I've been looking for. So I asked him the modalities. He told me, tell me the how, what it may take me. So I quickly concurred to that. Mm. And uh, I met with the uh, Akbena, who will tell me what and what to do. So I met with him. The Akbena directed me to the Yabi. Yabi was the, the chief uh, priest of the witches, the head of witches, as the Yabi. So I met her. She told me all it takes and told me the, in fact, the good things because they can never tell you there's any button. Mm. They won't tell you there's any button at all. They will not tell you that a woman is just only meant for intimidation. They can't tell you that. So they tell me all the good side of it. Then, because I don't think there's nothing good inside it. <clears throat> so I picked interest. I needed it that time. So in fact, quickly, there is money with me. I have money. I asked them the day they booked the date. So the people that came from uh, Ileife, they, they came. I sponsored for their trip and every day staying. Mm. So they initiated me into the Buni. Really? And, yes, really initiation. The initiation was done in the night on Fridays. It is every 15, 15 days that the meeting holds. So in one of the meetings, they will schedule the initiation on that very day. And it may be not, it can't be only one person. They, in fact, there are groups of people. Sometimes we initiate, they initiate up to 20 mm. at a time. Just like uh, as they do group wedding, mm. you go there. That very day it will be, in fact, a day of celebration for, for bringing people into the kingdom of darkness. Chai. God so I was initiated that very day where we were only four because my own I needed it emergency. They need to compile people, compile people until when they get up to that day and they initiate. But my own I needed it emergency. I paid for everything and they initiated me. We were four that very day. The Fourth person was a just small girl of about uh, six years. Ah. So we were initiated every day. And uh, in fact, I started following them, bomber to bomber. Uh, within a few days, I requested that that God will be uh, prepared. And in fact, in a, uh, in, a, uh, in my house, they said it is not yet time. Say when the time comes, they will tell me. So I started following them, going for meeting, everything. So eventually, my first position, my first position in that aborigine, Obuni, was Ulu. And how I became the Ulu was a surprising thing, even to the Yorubas, to the people that have been staying there for a long time before me. So how does it happen? The Ulu of that very house, because every house, has its own Ulu, just like a branch church. Okay. This branch of church must have a pastor. Okay. This branch of church <coughs> must have a pastor. So okay. every branch of, uh, but the branch must not be common. It must be maybe one in a, in a local government that has one Ulu. So the Ulu there defaulted. So he was suspended. And in that suspension, he died. So they are looking for a successor. So it is not something you do by hand picking. So they have to call the people in charge from a leaf. They came and other people, other Ulu from other sectional heads. They came with a one man from a that the oracle caster. So they casted the oracle. And uh, unfortunately for me at that time, I can't say it is fortunate. The thing landed on my head. That has to be the Ulu of the house. The house, we call it Ididi. Doesn't call it, and it is Ile, called Ilady. So my house then was Ilady, Lucre. So 
I so much loved it. And it is not something that anybody can argue because it was not Hanpik, it was the oracle that made it to be so. So I became the Ulu belly four years or five years after my involvement, involvement in the Aborigine. So I begin to head them, begin to head them, sponsor them. So as Ulu, I becomes the man that is the lion heart. As I said it, Eniko John Weku. Eniko John Weku. Allah Benu Asasi. As you listen to me, you know. Allah Benu Asasi. Asapwe. That is the person they are running and calling. That means that person has something. So that is was my position there. So by and by, I became acquainted with all those powers and there are so many other things, so many other involvements in other societies. I was the grandmaster. But in fact, all these things, when I had become Olu, every other place I enter because I'm Olu, they will give me a very big position. So I was a member of uh, Hamitic Shen, Worldwide Spiritual Temple from India. So we are the representative here. I become the grandmaster after one year of entering to it. I was also a member of uh, esoteric orders of Grandmother Lodge. I was the grandmaster also after six months of entering it. So many more. I am the image maker of Ohanes and Dibu in this Lagos okay, state. You were. Yeah, I was, mm -hmm. yes. So <clears throat> likewise, so many other societies that I belong. I was also the National Social Secretary, ACOTAM, as African Congress on Traditional and Alternative Medicines, comprising 45 countries in Africa. I was the National Social Secretary. I was also a member and, in fact, a board member of Ordinala Dibia Dibia, traditional healers that holds the whole Igbo land. I was their PRO, one of the board of trustees, alongside with many of our brethren then. So I belong to so many, so many societies, so many of them. In fact, a time came that the burden became so hard upon my head. I was struggling with all these things, struggling with all these things. I was making money. You know what I mean by making money? I was making money from all cause. I work with prominent men, <clears throat> prominent men of this nation. I cannot mention them, but there are so many, even to the presidential uh, uh, seats. <clears throat> so many of them, I work with them. Then, if I want to go to Abuja, they will pick me here with plane, and by landing, you will see their motor, their THQ, they will be waiting for me to pick me to their guest house. I work for so many of them. So, I made money. But it is later that I come to realize when I knew Christ that one naira you make in righteousness is far better than the trillions and billions you make in unrighteous way. Just like uh, as our Jew used to say it on yes. the television. Oh, that's very that was when I began to realize <laughs> what he is saying. I made money and I couldn't make use of it. Actually, I acquired land then, and I did not buy them <laughs> in this Lagos. I acquired so many plots of land. There was a place I acquired so many plots of land. Those people, only God knows how they feel then, because <laughs> we acquired it by force. How? With the shams and this and one of my friend, even my friend that I am saying, he, well, he is currently the ballet of that particular place. But when I repented, I forfeit all those places, I forfeit the land. I restricted and leave it for them. I called them and said, take your because I didn't buy it. Hmm. So, uh, that is how it goes. Okay, before um, uh, in your testimony, that 2003, 2003 yes. uh, you told us how 
you were also a general no. overseer. Sorry, I repented 2003, okay, 2003. and shared the testimony in 2004. 2004. Uh -huh. In the 2004 testimony, we, you told us how you run a church, even as a grandmaster. So we are, what I'm going to do, we're going to go <coughs> on a short break. And when we come back, then you tell us how you about, were, the about the church and how you were operating as the general vassier Kumoko Grandmaster and the family deliverance and so that the people will be able to their eyes will be able to be open because you know so this end time people like uh, this uh, issue of uh, family deliverance family deliverance family operating charms so this is opportunity to open their eyes so we are going to come back to you we will come back from the short break viewers uh, want you to stay tuned because this program is going to open your eyes. Many people have been victims. So many people have been caged by the devil. The purpose of this interaction is to open your eyes and be delivered. So we are going to go on a short break. We are going to be right back in a short time. Viewers, you are welcome back. Remember, you are watching Choosing Revival News Program, CRN. Uh, stay with me in the studio is Pastor Simeon, okay, okay. former occult grandmaster, former native doctor, former member of Oboni Aborigin, former member of Hermetic Chain Worldwide. He's an occult group and also uh, Grandmother Lodge, something like that. And uh, we have been having interaction with him how he sojourned, you know, to the world of wickedness and how God has arrested him. Now, this uh, edition, uh, we want him to tell us about the church he operated then as general vassier and what the church was into. Our brother, please tell Praise us more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, that is watching this program. I want to tell you to be very, very careful on the churches you attend. Be very careful because of running from pillar to post, getting nothing because of falling victim of substances, hmm. because of, in fact, falling from frying pan to fire. All oh, that glitters are not good. All oh, that glitters are not good. Yes. There are churches all over the world built on the foundation of occultism. Hmm. There are so many that are built on the foundation of witchcraft. There are so many that are built. In fact, I can't know how it explains in so many, so many terrible things. That is why you must be very, very careful. Because my own church, Holy Trinity Bethel, at Ojalaba, to be precise, that is where I established my own church. In fact, that place, while the church is on as a righteous church, I still operate my job as a native doctor. <laughs> I, am, I was still then the grandmaster of esoteric orders. I was still then the grandmaster of Hermetic Shen Worldwide Spiritual Temple. I was still then the Uluwu of Uboni, yet I own a church as a bishop. That's terrible. I operate the church as a bishop. So you must be very, very careful. I want to tell you one thing. If you meet such church, there is no good thing you will get from that place because the aim their aim, like the devil, his aim, the, 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 the aim of the devil is to kill, to see, to destroy. There is no good thing you can get from that place. Instead, they are looking at you. If you are looking for children, they may collect your children, the one that God gave to you, and give to another person. If you are looking for money, they can even use you, and in fact, you will become wretched. So you need to be very, very careful from going from church to church going from prophet to prophetess and all these things, hmm. it is very, very dangerous. So I want to counsel you to stay put, look for a Bible believing church where truth is preached, just like 
the ministry that I run into and become safe. Mm. The Lord's choosing charismatic revival movement. It is a safe place for those who are looking for a uh, father where to serve God in sincerity, in truth, and in spirit. I want to tell you our activities then. While I was into all this evil act, I still read the Bible in the church. I see pray in the church. I have a pastor that is in fact ministering, and after the ministering, I will go there and perform the, the wonders and signs and miracles hmm. in that church. So everybody believed I was a bishop. They believe in me because of the truth. I can quote the Bible, I can read the Bible, I can quote scriptures. Even the devil itself quotes scriptures. So I will do all these things, but yet it is not in a mind. Our aim is to make money from the church. The church we uh, establish is for money making. That is our, in fact, we are not conscious of making heaven. It is, it's not in our agenda at all, <laughs> making heaven. That is not our agenda. Uh, my brother, um, I'm cutting in here. Um, you know, these days we normally hear people talk about family deliverance, family liberation. And the, the way they magnify this thing, some even talk about seeing vision and prophecy, and somebody <clears throat> calling your phone number, uh, prophet or prophetess calling your phone number, calling your account number, and all this. You know, this thing has taken center stage in this present dispensation. And in fact, it will only take uh, somebody that is spirit filled to be able to discern that these things are not from God. So, I want you to tell us and throw more light concerning this issue of, uh, you know, calling somebody for a name, seeing vision, and family liberation and family deliverance. So that people that are watching our viewers all over the world, they will be able to be, you know, equipped with a knowledge that, as we rightly said, all the glitters are not good. Well, uh, in the area of uh, family liberation, I want to throw light into it. It is like somebody. Were you into it? When that you... is part of our activities. I go into family liberation. I go from here okay. to east. I go to Benin. I go to. There is oh, no part of this nation that we have not gone for family liberation. Hmm. We've been going. There was one I went the other day at Benin. I will talk on that one later. So let me say family liberation. It is. There is something we call high temptation in the spiritism, high temptation. Family liberation is all about temptation. The visions that uh, 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 to the family liberation is all about, in fact, they are tricks, <laughs> family liberation. All these visions, there is something that I will put in my eyes. I will see you from your hair to the toe. Everything inside, what you eat before you come to my dish, I will see it. It is ordinary leaf. Ordinary leaf. I will say some incantation, drop it in my eyes, and I will tell you everything about you. There is one I will just mark in my tongue. Ordinary leaf. I will call the name, mark it in my tongue. I will tell you whatever I tell you, you will believe it. It is like that even in so many churches today. There is one we prepare with a virtual head. Virtual head, that's the mouth of the virtual head, is what you just put in your tongue. And as you say it, so shall it happen. But all those prophecies and all those visions and this, there is no you, there is no solution for them. We say it, but no solution. Then in family liberation, what I said, there's something we call high temptation. Like as you are here now, I can open my hand and you see it. That there's nothing there. But immediately I place it in your tummy. I will command and bring out life cockroach and throw it on the ground. <laughs> it is very, very, that is what we call high temptation. I can place my hand on your, on, your, on your tummy, then say one word or the other, or whatever I like, and throw some pin. Mm -mm. I can open my mouth, tell you, look my mouth, you cannot see anything. Then I just put small mark in your body. Then put my mouth there and suck out so many pins. Hey. Those things, we call them high temptations. It does not exist. You see this, my, my suit? Mm. I can palm cockroach inside here, covered with a cloth. 
Life cockroach. Life cockroach. I know how to control it. You will not know. So by the time I do this and this, I know how to do this. But by the time I'm seeing some condition, I will allow that thing to enter my hands and I'll bring it out. This pin of a thing, I can palm it inside my mouth, right inside. You will not see it. And by the time I look, I will be talking, you will not know. By the time I put my mouth and begin to do something, I will just drop the pin. You will think it is real. There are high palmitations. There is something in this my hand now. I may put my hand at like this. Something is hidden in my hands. You cannot see it. That's high palmitation. It is not, it is no sham. Hmm. This is brain work. And when I do, I drop it, you, you think it is real. Then, in the area of, in fact, there are so many, so many things like that, so many. So, this one of digging, if I come to family deliverance in your house, it is not only you see, but you will be hearing the voice of the, of the evil spirit inside ground. And it will be running inside ground, you will be pursuing it. That thing that is pursuing, that thing that is crying, the evil that is crying, is either inside my nose or inside my mouth. I will talk, you will not know. And but if I, the way I direct it, that is where the thing will be crying. And you begin to dig ground. Some of them will, in fact, will, if I look at you, you are sharp. You want to know exactly what is happening. I will allow you to dig the whole house, break the whole floor. <laughs> Until when you are tired, I will put what I want to put. Uh, my brother, ground. this is a very interesting... Uh, it's very educative and uh, we're going to go on a short break when we come back uh, we are going to you are going to tell us uh, in names of other course you were into and how you were initiated and many more viewers will promise that in this segment when we come back we are going to hear bombshell stay tuned don't go viewers are welcome back remember before we went on break uh, our guests have been talking about family deliverance and liberation and all that. So I want him to continue to throw more light in that family deliverance before we delve into other aspects of interview we have with him. Abana, you're welcome. As I was saying concerning the family liberation, how it is done, there are some, some of a uh, high plantation we plant before the day of the deliverance. So that very day we, may hire some people. They will go there, dig the ground, and put that in, even some days before the very time. And they will do it in such a way that in the morning you will not know that that place was uh, digged. So they will do it and cover it with fresh dishes. They are prepared. What they will bring out will be inside there. Most of them, we got insider who will tell us exactly what is the problem. We sometimes we collect materials from those from those old their old clothes that what they what we make them to know that this is exactly from their mm. place. So we collect them, then put it in just in the form of a sham and the rapid and the immediately enters there. We mm. may give them gap. So in that case, it is very very mm. open. We do it so that everybody will see it. Even we may even decide to call video for them to see it. So by the time we begin to dig and dig and dig. That is how it is done. There are so many others, so many other ways. Okay. Even in a place where we do family deliberation, uh, family deliverance, if we see anything, in fact, any animal that is good for eating, like goat, <laughs> and we project one spirit inside a goat, it will be crying inside the goat. You will be hearing, it is not, a, it will be, you will hear the cry of the spirit inside the goat. And I've asked them to kill it. Even the owner of the goat will first kill the goat. <laughs> because they think that goat is the problem they're having. Okay, but that thing cry inside the goat. It's not inside the goat, it's in my nose. But I will just direct it if they begin to sing, cry inside the goat. Just like that. Even okay. if it is a, 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 a fowl or just whatever you just the, if if you desire to collect the motor, you will tell the person the thing will be crying inside the motor that person's vehicle. And you tell, just tell the person that if you enter the, for this, the if you enter inside the vehicle, you will die. He will even ask you to carry that vehicle immediately. So that is that is it. That is why all these people that do family liberation, they are in fact criminals. They are criminals. There is nothing that stops the power of God going as far from here to US. <laughs> you can see when our uh, that Jew prayed here. Turn that we go to the village. Yes. 
that is a power in the world. There is power in the world. It is not by power nor by might, but the, the, by the spirit. If God decides to do something, you don't need to help God. Mm -hmm. what, is, what God needed from me is just to, in fact, be, be, be close to him. Live the right, the, the life that is uh, what the righteousness, holiness, life of a consecration. As you call upon him, telling him what to do. He will, the, in fact, the, the power will go there and hit. You don't need to go there to dig any ground. You don't need to go there. You don't need to go to any house. Any house right. to, don't call anybody to go to your house. and Just make sure you live absolutely righteous. And the power of God will go there and hit that problem. Okay. Um, I want to stay on that family deliverance. Um, what of the problem that made them to hire you? No, I believe that before they hired a prophet or <laughs> uh, family delivery people, there must be a pro problem on the ground. So after those things, after all those uh, things we were doing, that uh, doesn't mean that their problem will go. Because Let I believe that they will pay. What is the value of the money they paid? Let me tell us one thing. There is no problem they have. They don't have any problem. The problem is the pro what they cost by yourself. The Bible said, my people are perishing for the lack of knowledge. Hmm. They lack the knowledge of God. Okay. They so much believe in what people tell them. They so much believe in what the prophets or the prophets tell them. It is the same way that we tell these people, look, there is a problem in your house. They don't know about the problem. Maybe when they come for... Uh, for soothsaying, mm. they want to uh, cast your argument and tell me this, this, this. You will tell whatever you tell them, that is what they will believe. Tell them, look at your uncle. In fact, he has buried something in your house, and they will believe it. Mm -hmm. They will want you to come and approve that thing for them, because immediately their mind will go that this is what the, the problem. That is why my son okay. has never bought a car. This is why my son has never built a house. It is a deceit. It is a deceit. So whatever the prophet, a uh, prophet or the prophet has tell them, that is what they will believe. Whatever the native will tell them, that's what they will believe. They will be going to look for solution. How to avoid the problem that they don't have. No <laughs> problem in their life. They don't have they any problem. They will go to look for solution. How to avoid the problem that they, they don't don't have. have. That is it. They don't have any problem. Okay. They created the problem by their by going to the native doctor. And let me okay. say something. Any man, any woman that goes to a native doctor or a prophet or prophetess, fake ones, that person will never be in good terms with the family. That is it. Because they will tell you, your mother is the problem. Or your father is the problem. Or your, 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 your uncle is the problem. This one is the problem. Hmm. And it is all fake, all deceits. And when they tell you that, you begin to walk on towards that. Hmm. That is where they create problem on yourself. They begin to fight for the problem that they doesn't have. Okay. Okay, um, um, still on family delivering on liberation or, or this um, pseudo things we are witnessing in this uh, present dispensation in churches. We recently we see people trooping in their thousand to a particular so called prophet, and you see the so called prophet calling the account number of the person. I don't know if you have come across such a thing. Yes. The prophet, you, if you are a rich, you know that this person is not a child of God. He's not a man of God. But you see people, because the, pro the prophet or whoever has the ability to call the name of their mother, the day they were born, the time when they were born, and their account number and the phone numbers, you see people. And you see them almost, almost half naked. Because what they are going there is just, you know, let the prophet see my problem. And uh, you see what they celebrate at testimony also is the ability of the prophet to see the problem, not to remove the problem. I don't know if I get my point. I do. And they will, uh, maybe the prophet said, uh, hey, you were born in 1975. True or false, he said true. The next thing will come out with testimony and say, praise the Lord. That I came here, the prophet, the man of God told me that I was born in 1975. That is my testimony. They will begin to clap hand. What has it to do with the salvation? So, can you t tell us more, anything uh, about that? 
so that our viewers that are watching, you know, this is people are watching all over the world. Many people are confused. They are now in the situation of six and seven. Some are in the haunts of dilemma. They don't know where to go again because of this confusion that the devil has set in Christendom. My beloved brethren, <coughs> I still continue to advise you and tell you not to draw problems by yourself. That is what I want to tell you. Don't draw problems to yourself. Don't create problems to yourself by going to these fetish and fake pastors. When I am operating my, when I was operating my church, there are so many things we use to tell you, as I was saying before, tell you so many things that the evil spirit directed us to say. There are certain things I will put in my mouth and I will tell you what and what you eat. Okay. I will tell you, in fact, the name of your mother. I will tell you everything about you. There are some, there are some we drop in our eyes. There are some we drink. There are so many of them. There's one we prepare with the virtual head. That is the, the mouth of the virtual. Just put it in your tongue inside your, your closest in the chamber. Then come outside. Whatever you say will happen. And there's one we drink. That one say, if it comes to my heart and I will, I will speak in, uh, from my mouth, that one is a special, special sham. You will drink it and as it comes to your mouth, inside your heart, you, whatever you say is normal. Like calling this uh, account number, it's a, it's a small thing. Hmm. It's a simple thing. I can call the account number. I can call the bank. I, I can call even the name you use in the bank. Very, very, because I am not the one saying it. Okay. If you just come and I will say it. <coughs> Just let the person that is saying this and say, you have headache. Then, that the same thing. It, can, it is not possible. There is no solution in that. That person cannot, that thing cannot tell you, go and take physical and this thing will stop. There is nothing, no solution. There is nothing they will tell you, this is the solution. Mm -hmm. They will only tell you the problem, the problem, 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 okay. problem. Heap problems in your life. No solution. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, our brother, this uh, interaction has been very wonderful. Uh, we know and we read that we are in many courts. We have told us about uh, Oboni. We have told us about um, Amok. Um, what, is there any other court? Was there another court that uh, you delved into before the arrest by God or chosen? As I said before, I was the grandmaster of uh, esoteric orders. Grandmother Lodge. I was also. Where is this located? Esoteric orders. We have our corporate headquarters in India. Okay. But here we have representatives here in Nigeria, which I am one of them. So we held our meetings once in a month. So we have so many members here in Nigeria as well who we initiated into the same uh, courtist. So our initiation takes place after three months of trials. We we'll try you three months. Then uh, within that three months, there are some things we give to you to use. So after that three months, you go for proper initiations. When you come out with the materials, we ask you to bring the money for you. Come, don't buy the materials for us. You bring the money and we order for the materials from India. How we order the materials, we just tell them we have what they call a, a magic box. So that magic box is where the power lies. We request for whatever property we need to for the initiation and we land inside that place right inside your house. So you go ahead for your initiation. So if there's anything, any local things like uh, file, this that we can buy, we can buy them locally. So that's how we do. And we have in Nigeria here, we have over, over 2 million members. <laughs> Over two million members in Nigeria alone. So, the same thing with the, the other one, hmm. esoteric others. So, okay. Um, in this course you have mentioned, uh, was there any of them that uh, went back on Astra movement? Yes. How how was it done? And it the is esoteric others. You can travel Astra, you can stay here. But I say, but it's not everywhere. In fact, here now you cannot travel. 
there is a secret place where you enter and make some uh, uh, incantations. Then you will leave. It you leave and you see yourself living or you... You will you be, you be there. You will be there. Just make the incantations, say what you want to say. It is part of the benefits of the grandmasters. <clears throat> Not every member. There is a stage you reach, you can go astral travel. You go there. You will sleep as you are sleeping in the house or... Just you... enter your listen, there you go. Even this thing, I noticed when my father was alive, my father used to go astral. My father doesn't enter vehicle from east to Lagos, he doesn't enter. There is a little, a little hut inside his room. That place just, that can enter about two people. He, it is decked with one small door. My father wants to travel, just enter that place and go. It's a strategy, but our own, the power is from India, you can move anytime. There is one, only your spirit will go. There is astral travel that only the spirit will go. But your body will be there. Okay. Or until when it comes back. Blood one, it cannot take you more than one day. You go there, do what you want to do, come back. Then your body gets up. Hmm. So there are, in fact, that one is just a minor, astral travel is just a minor thing. So long you reach the position, the power will be given to you. And you can go. If you want to go in spirit, you go. You can go. If you want to go physical, you go. Okay, I uh, want to also uh, want to know about uh, since we were into those uh, practices, have you for once had an encounter with uh, any real child of God? Maybe coming to preach to you, what was the experience like? <clears throat> there are so many, several children of God. I call them children of God because that is what they profess. That came to me for preaching. So many of them they came for preaching because one they know in fact my my name in fact rings bell in that uh, place. Everybody wants to be that it should be him that or her that will convert me. Okay. So they are coming. But when they come, I don't I have my Bible. You cannot defeat me with the word of God. <clears throat> then you can't defeat me. So we will argue it and argue and I'll put you to test and eventually the person will fail and I will take over. How? So say so, what type of test? Can you tell us? For example, <coughs> there is one one that I don't know, that person in fact I know him as a, a evangelist, he used to preach everywhere. He came to my house a man. He was selling at Odua the market. There's not a chosen member. He's not a, no. Then the chosen has not okay, uh, come okay. up. So he came to my place, he had a coming. So the day he came, I was feeling so very headache. In fact, I was feeling, the headache was so terrible. I told him that, in fact, I want to put your God to test. I am feeling very, very, in fact, somehow, this, I, I want you to pray for me. So that this headache will leave me. And, uh, if you pray and this headache leaves me because it has been disturbing me, I will follow you to your church. I know that, in fact, you are serving a real God. Mm. And he, in fact, he is sure that he will pray and the headache will leave me. I said, okay, why are you start? He prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, 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 prayed. In fact, all over his body was just like somebody that jumped inside the well and come out, soaked with heat. And I promise him that I cannot lie. If this headache stops, I will tell you that the headache has stopped. But of all his prayers, the headache is still continuing. So I tell him, you can see, this headache still continues. So there is no way I can trust you that you are serving a living God. And that is how I begin to tell him about my own miracles. <clears throat> Though that person, I did not get him. He did not concur with me, but there are so many like that. When you come, I will tell them the good things, tell them about some chance that we give them money that made them to sell, to, in fact, to boost their market. They will have to have it, some of, so many of them. And will, in fact, I will get they them will, Okay, they will leave preaching and be... They, yes. I will allow them to preach when we read the Bible. I will still tell them about my... I am advertising my own business. 
I was talking about my own. Tell them that the fact there are things you will put in your job and you will, you will begin to sell. And it really, the devil is somehow it is works. There are so many things like that. Uh, Chance that you used to sell market, but all those things, whatever you make from it, will still go back to the devil. Mm. So and so many of so many of them it will still go back. So so many of them. Uh, that I get so many of them like that, and so many of them, when they see that, in fact, what I am telling you, they really see they listen, they, they, they will drop their Bible. So many of them. There are so many encounters, so many. Terrible. So, but there is encounter that is this encounter, which I will tell them that may be my last time. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Well, because we are going, we are still going to tell you, ask you how you came to the Lord Chosen. You know, where we read in Acts chapter 19. Uh, we find that those people that brought out their occultic uh, books, they, let her burn uh, it. they burned it. And uh, in that place, we find out that there was something that made them to surrender. In fact, that occultic book they were using to make money, you know, you know, deceive people. There were so many things. Uh -huh. So until the re the re preacher encounter. came, yes. the re encounter, and they were able to. You know, bring out their find out the truth and, and, yes, and bonnet. So we are still going to come to that. But um, we also want to know, uh, uh, you know, want to ask you about uh, the issue of, you know, these native doctors' practice. How, uh, what are people coming to, you know, seek solution from? I don't know if you get my question. What I are do. they coming to you to do for them? Is it? Uh, can you tell us? Uh, and are you preparing any charm? Did it work? And how? There are thousands and millions of people that want to patronize native doctors. Out of these millions, let's say one million that want to patronize native doctors, 80, 800 of them has no problem. Let's, let me just exaggerate. 800 has no problem. They are the problems by themselves. They don't have any problem. Then the remaining 200 that has little or no problem, they have by themselves, in fact, exaggerate their problem and it becomes a burden to them. Some come in form of sickness. Some purposely come to know how, who is after their problem, why they don't have any problem. Some come, in fact, for shams, different, different shams, different shams. Some come for sham to, uh, for love, some come for shams for, to get money, to get rich quick. Some come for shams that we, in fact, we uh, make them sell well in their, in their business. In fact, so many things. Some of them come that they will have children. I mean, they, those ones that doesn't have but, uh, children. Uh, did you have a solution for their problems? See, there are uh, some that have Excuse solutions. Me. Mostly those of curatives, curing. Mm. Those that have sicknesses. Roots and herbs are meant for curing. There are some who are really working for curing. Then all these charms, some work effectively for the moment, but the end of it will be more disastrous, more dangerous than the beginning of what you come for. Mm. So that is the thing. So of a truth, there are roots we prepare sicknesses like fever, it cures fever. Some like uh, hepatitis, it's cured. Some like uh, uh, infections, it cures. That's roots and herbs. It does not need any incantation, does not need any sacrifice, just uproot it, cook, and the person will drink and get well. But people will not see it. That's, I mean, the people that are sick by themselves, mm -hmm. they will not see it like that. They will not see it as an ordinary sickness. They will put portion blame either on their uncle or their father that this person is responsible for headache okay. ordinary headache and their, their, their matter will be so much uh, 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 agitated to, to higher level 
What are people that are coming for money? There are, <coughs> I'm still coming to that. There are people that come for money ritual. Mm -hmm. And those ones, to be sincere with you, it doesn't work out well. Except there are places where you belong. That is the only place you belong and get it. And it takes, if you get a million naira in that, what you collect from you will be more than 10 million. Wow. So there is no, no good in there. Because there is no way you can make the money without paying sacrifice for it. So those people, there's no way that to time, make the money without paying sacrifice. There's no how. No how. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go on a short break. When we come back, we're, we're going to tell us uh, how you came to the Lord choosing and uh, how you of all person surrendered to God or choosing. So these and many more we're going to discuss when we come back from this short break. Viewers, don't go away. We will be right back very shortly. Viewers, you are welcome back. This is the Chosen Revival No CRN. Remember, we are in the studio with uh, our brother, Brother Simeon Okeke. Now, we want to uh, ask him those churches that you know he talked about. How can you advise the viewers that are watching all over the world? How do we know a real church? Founded on the foundation of righteousness and holiness, going to heaven. How do we know? You know, you know. Viewers are watching. The, some of them are confused. They want to know how to know a good church. So, from your experience, as a uh, formerly a called grandmaster, come general overseer, who have seen many of these things, can you advise them how to know the difference between good and the bad church? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, not only seeing churches or this, but as somebody who has been planted evil churches. Because mm. I assist in doing all those shams for churches. Okay. In planting so many shams in the churches for power. So there is a way you notice these churches. Viewers, I want you to listen very carefully. Mm. If you go to any church where another thing outside this word of God, mm. outside the Bible is being preached, that means it is not the real church of God. There are standards of the word of God that we need to follow. Mm. Righteousness and holiness. There are so many churches when they get to a certain point where the truth is supposed to be told, they will jump it. They divert to another things. A church where only prosperity <clears throat> is being preached. They don't tell you that sin is bad, that sin is sin. They will not tell you that fornication is sin. <clears throat> they will okay. not tell you that marrying more than one wife is a sin. Okay. A church we are, they will not tell you, they will in fact advise the women to wear in fact trousers that are more tight in their body. Run away from that church. Any church where they will tell you that in fact uh, fornication, adultery, uh, lesbian, is, it has been legged by the, uh, the foreign, foreign people. That place, run away from that place. Those churches that cannot tell you that you are a sinner. Those people that are in fact focus their mind on the, the level of your tithe and mm. offering. They, in fact, that is their priority. That is their goal. How much you will pay for in your tithe. Even if you carry, you come to the church with a more than five, with a six wives, they doesn't bother, but they are interested in your tithe, the, the amount of money you pay. Okay. Run away from those churches. Okay. They are not church of God. These are the churches they cannot tell you the truth because they themselves, they are not truthful. They are not righteous. Mm. So they cannot talk against unrighteousness because they are unrighteous. Okay. A they kingdom cannot, cannot, cannot war against itself. Every kingdom that divided against itself shall never stand. They cannot 
tell you about righteousness. They cannot tell you the truth. Run away from that church. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, in fact, this thing is very, very educative. Because uh, many people before now have been in the horns of dilemma to confusion, confusing state. Many of them, they don't even know whether to go up or down. Some have vowed not to go to any church again because of their past experiences. But thank God, this interaction will help them to find their faith in a good church like Lord Chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, uh, Pastor Simeon, we want also to know uh, generally, is there anything that we are doing in those days? You know, you we are called Grandmaster and General Overseer of Holy Trinity Better Church. Uh, was there anything we are doing that you may, you know, want us to know also? We want the whole world to know so that people can, you know, learn lesson from your testimony and run for their life and give their life to Christ. Well, as a member of different types of court, you know, courtists, herbalists, members of Ruben, they are not children of God. And there is no good thing you will find from them. Mm. That was the state that I was at that time. So if I tell you there is any good thing, I do that time. I am a liar. Mm. All our life, all our actions, my business, we are characterized okay. with where, evil where, business. Were you into business as well? Yes, I'm into business. What were you doing? I was a distiller. I am the owner of Odeneka, Distillers Nigeria Limited. Ode? Odeneka, Distillers Nigeria Limited. That's the maker of Odin's London Dry Gin. Okay. That's my company. Where, is it, where was it located? In Lagos here. Fully registered. Approved by NAPDAC. So, that's my business. And another business we do, we have a beer parlor where my wife operates. You see devil. All dubious business. You see devil. I also have another business of in fact, currency trafficking. Bad business. I have so many other business that in fact, it is not good to hear. Hmm. But to God be the glory, all have been... No, 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 if, if you, uh, we may like to hear know all of them, because Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. A new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Because somebody may be in the business thinking that he is doing a good business, unknown to him or her that he's an evil business. But if they hear searching for your mouth, and somebody that has seen it all on the other side, they will be able to surrender their life to Christ and run and repent. Well, uh, as I said, uh, I'm into currency this thing. Then, we used to do some kind of uh, fake currency. We do it, sell to people 50-50. It's a bad business. Very bad business. That time, I do most of the fake drugs. I did the fake drugs. There was this particular drug we we do that time. We get the the products from the resource and we do it and we sell. So I am I'm very very good in imitating. So like all this, uh, I have my own brand name of uh, hot drink, but I do in fact virtually every movable hot drinks. Then I do them. All those high class hot drinks, I I fake it, and if you see it, we never know. So these things, they are terrible. Okay. Uh, why business? The same thing we deal on alcohol, beer parlor, and uh, other things. Okay, we may ask. Uh, we would like to ask you. You know, this you are sojourn to the world of devil. Have you ever, you know, killed? You know, we normally hear that uh, uh, this uh, court group they kill this one. They kill. Have you, uh, what was the experience? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, there is one thing that my father told me. It is part of what uh, he used to say to me, that I should beware not to shed 
blood. That is number one. The second thing he said, I should be very, very careful with another man's wife. Mm. These two things. And I heed to that advice. I never shed any blood. Okay. I never be part of shedding any blood. And I have never tried looking even to lost to any man's wife. Mm. I don't do that. Okay. These two things I don't do. But for killing of a truth, they kill. Mm. Even in school, those people that are the king in school, they are not working on their own. They have people, they have godfathers mm. into the same court. They send them. That's how I told you that there was, that I, in fact, I never told you how I was, the day I was initiated, we were only four because of the emergency. Mm. Only four of us. Because normally it has to be from 20 and upwards. Which you got? I mean, okay, okay. we're only four because of emergency. And the, the last person among us was at about six years, a girl. So these people, although these small, small children that uh, when they let her get to school, they have grandfathers. They got they had godfathers and the people that uh, send them to do all those all those nonsense. So they are not doing it on their own. They have godfathers who send them. And maybe when they need the uh, uh, blood for their ritual, they will send these people. But I don't do that. I have never and I don't advise them now much more that I have known God. Okay. Um well, there's this saying that uh, Obuni people, uh, whenever their member dies, that they collect something from their member before burying the person. Uh, is that true? Well, that is uh, deceit. Hmm. Pure deceit. There is nothing they will give to you. So special that they will take where you might have died. Then, as uh, a, a, the head, like uh, you are Ulu mm -hmm. the materials you have should be the gods in your house. Should be the Etagbe, the Oja. That is your personal property. Then, every other thing you get is something you do with your money. So, the things that happen when a member dies, because uh, there is one other day in Ibo, they said, Banga Ishida is a masquerade. If he doesn't dance, the Banga Ishida, like, 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 as if you are, you, are, you are running mad, women will not fear the, the masquerade. Okay. So the same thing happens. If a member of Obuni dies, there will be so many distractions and so many more things they will do so that you think that it is, uh, in fact, you become afraid. Not, there's something like that. If there is anyone, because you see this our tongue, mm -hmm. that thing that the Bible says concerning the tongue is real. He said death and life is in the power of tongue. This is our tongue. You can use it to produce so many things, mostly talk and do. This tongue. No so way. if that family is, in fact, careless over there, this and they just discover that they can even go there and cut the tongue and use it for another, for their own good. Mm. It is not for the Ubuni. If there is any part they like to use for, 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 for any sham, they can take it and that is, they say it is what they, they are, they are deserves. It is a lie. Mm. If you, your father is into it and your father dies and you stand that nobody will enter there, nothing will happen to you. Mm. Nothing, absolutely nothing will happen. All those things, they are deceits. Uh, we have had uh, some cases. Let me cite the one that happened in Ladekpo some time ago, where the Oboni people. It was, I think, it was uh, their general day of. Uh, it's a day. Uh -huh. So they were carrying a little baby doing the incantation, a little bit day old baby. So and behold, uh, evangelists of the Lord chosen, you know, stop because everybody you know deserted them. Leaving the the whole city for, for them, so but Jewish people ran into them, and there was power demonstration. Power tozo. Yes, and uh, when our brethren began to sing and uh, dance and uh, praise God of choosing, so these people found out that their charm cannot work again. They came for physical fight. Yes, and so I believe uh, if they had the power as they claim, they wouldn't come for physical fight. 
they would have uh, <laughs> maybe would try and push somebody down. But at the end of the day, the chosen people, everybody was hailing chosen people that uh, hey, hey, we have now believed chosen people that uh, now chosen people have defeated the people that have been terrorizing people here. It happened in Ladegbo. Another one happened in Badagri. Where these Obone people, they wear white with a uh, barefoot. I think they are Obone. Yes. Uh, so they were going group, see our brethren. And our brethren face to face, you know, confronted them. And after that, they cleared for road. Our brethren sang and they went their way. So, you know, does it mean that they don't have power as they claim? No. It's not that they do not have power. They have their devilish power. Okay. But when the power, the lesser power, power, jam power, jam the higher power, okay, the power from heaven, automatically that power will bow. Okay. You see, in this ministry, the Lord choosing, so many people, even those people self that are that they are choosing, they never know the kind of power that is operating here. Hmm. They never understand it. There is a great power. In fact, from the, in fact, from the, from the Almighty Himself that is operating here, that no other power in this world that I can condemn with, Kay. no power. What is Obone power? It's a powerless power. This is God's power operating. Mm. So there is no power that can, even if it's a small child in choosing. Don't you see here what the Lord said? He said, just mention, I am a chosen, I am a chosen, I am a chosen three times. Ask danger, who are you? The power will bow immediately. Or not that one alone. So uh, it, it is not a new thing that uh, what is Obone people? If the chosen people defeated the Obone people on the road, that is it, it's nothing now. Uh, <laughs> that is nothing. Yes. Compared with the power that, that is you're here. here. Uh, who is what is Obone? Okay. They don't have any power. I think uh, we are going to go on a short break. Now when we come back, we begin to draw the curtain and the addition that is going to tell us his encounter. How he came to the Lord choosing and how he surrendered his life to Christ and uh, how it has been since he gave his life to Christ till now. You know, many people have this uh, belief that uh, when you come out from court, you, you will die and all that. You know, but in the Lord choosing, I find out that many people that I know that renounce court is in there now. Most of them are pastors, most of them are evangelists, doing much well. So we are going to go on a short break. When we come back, you tell us how you came to the Lord choosing. Viewers, please don't go away. Make sure that everybody around you stay glued to the television. Viewers, you are welcome back. We are happy to have our brother, brother Simeon, in the studio with us. It has been a very wonderful session with him, you know, trying to open the eyes of people to see that other glitters are not good. Uh, in this edition, we are going to ask him to tell us how he was arrested by this God of choosing, the God of our pastor, the Almighty God, how he, come in, he came in contact with the Lord choosing. So can you tell us how this God of choosing arrested you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me sing this song. I was lost. Oh, my Savior found me. Mm. I was lost. My Lord Jesus found me. I was lost. My Lord oh, Jesus my found me. He found me so very far. If you remember, 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 really located me mm. and found me and grant me the salvation of my soul. Hallelujah. In fact, it is just like a dream. Mm. How I got in touch with this great ministry. Uh, you know, 
As I said earlier, I have the interest of going where it is happening, of acquiring the highest power. Hmm. So that was what motivated me. In fact, the, the, the bumper packages in choosing, the mass trooping, the mass exodus in choosing, triggered my Exodus from the world to the choosing. Yes. Mm. In fact, somebody told me that uh, something is happening at the 2003. I think precisely September. It was September uh, one said, yes, around September. There's something is happening. He said he has seen where power is controlling people. Mm. When he was telling me about power, not the power, he's not telling me about power of God. Okay. Because the power we meant then was the type of power we install in other churches. So I was trying to find out how this one came about. Who did this kind of sham? Who did this, who, from where this kind of power came? Mm. So I came to see by myself so that I will, in fact, look for a solution. So when I came that very day, I couldn't believe my eyes that first time. In fact, everything that is happening, and maybe I was thinking it might be another another diversion, another way of uh, operating their own, hmm. not knowing it is the power of God in action. And so I, I still put listening to the message, listen to the message, and I begin to hear some in fact for the first time where you say if you are if you are a fornicator you don't uh, stop it hmm. if you're a woman you are putting on trousers uh stop that in fact all kinds of things i say in fact this one cannot be although i didn't believe it for the first time mm -hmm. so i went back and told my wife so see i have gone to a place where i have seen a different thing Although my wife wasn't happy with my work because I was tender to be in such position. Mm. That at that age there are so many people as old as in fact older than my father that they are still under me. When they come, they will start to bend themselves and I will pray for them. They are just normal blessing of the of the power of women. I will bless them. So many old women. Mm. So my wife wasn't happy. So she wanted me to, uh, in fact, give up all those things in this modern way, in this modern world. So I told her, in fact, she was happy. She said that that place may be a place where God wants us to worship. I said, no, it is the same thing. Those kind of places where maybe these people, the person that did this, maybe there is, a, there is another thing he, he, he gave them. Maybe there's another way he wanted to operate that we never find out. So. They are, it was on Tuesday. So I heard when it was announced that newcomers will come the following day. That's on Wednesday. So that very day, I went and said that you come with your three prayer requests. I am not bothered about the request because that is not my priority. So I went the following day. So after all those things, say continuation brings freedom. If your church cannot change you, change the church. <laughs> So already, I go. I, am, I have my own church, and I have so many impressive needs that, in fact, I only may know how I pray my church. I know that the church cannot save me. Hmm. I also, in that church, in my village, I am a Catholic member in my, my village. I attend Catholic, a general overseer of my own church. And even as a called grandmaster. Yes, I, I, in fact, there, there was... I'm still coming to that. That was uh, something that uh, I did in the church when they requested for a fan in the church. Uh -huh. So I volunteered, I paid for the fan, I paid for the social everything. And the Reverend Father said that this is the man that was born on Sunday day, Hi. on a holy day. Abomination. He doesn't know my job, he doesn't know I'm a native daughter. He, doesn't, he, say, he said from the altar that this man is the people that, among the people that was born on a Sunday day. I imagine. So, that one, by the way, 
So on the Wednesday, I went and I still received the same message. I began to look around, see the real workers. I didn't see any sign of earrings. <clears throat> I didn't see any sign of a trouser. I didn't see any of them coming. In fact, I, I began to look at them. Uh, in fact, it triggered my, my conscience. I began to have some kind of uh, thought. And it was around the same day following that there will be deliverance and cast in the following day. Being Thursday. Thursday. I still come. Because I, I, I am thought I'm in search of something. I want to find out. Hmm. I always like to argue. Because though I was a native daughter, but I don't believe there's any power that can supersede my own power. So I was trying to find out exactly what I'm seeing, whether it is real. So that was the, was the first day in my life that I was pushed by the power of God. That day I fall under anointing. Power! That very Thursday. <laughs> so because I have been going to crusades, even when I was young, just to try. I remembered uh, then one Pastor Omar Pai who used to do crusade all those time. So what we are going to do that in the crusade, we are not going to just to see how the how I will fall. Hmm. If whether somebody will push me, because I it is impossible for me to fall. God. I've been going to so many crusades so with so many of our uh, boys then. So and after all those things, we know I say this thing is uh, in fact. There's not, it is, they're just trying to fall by themselves. Hmm. I never believed it. But on that very Thursday, I was, in fact, touched by the power of Holy Ghost. And I fall on the anointing. I reach ground. Aye. God will choose him. I reach ground. So I begin to recollect. I begin to sense my mind. I come to back my life. In fact, this thing that has pushed Push me down, down must be extraordinary power. I never believe there is no other power that is that the Lord of God that is can spread my own power, can spread my own shine. I begin to sense that this must be the finger of God. Hmm. So that very day, I went back, I become a bit convinced. I told my wife, it is like we continue on this place. My continue on that place, not that I will leave my work, but just to continue to begin to fellowship. So that very night, I was in a dream and I saw Gio in my dream. God. So he complete three times that same night. He said, Why not leave all these things and follow me? Hmm. I asked, What did you say? He said, Why not leave these things and follow me? I was looking at him. He was looking at me. And he said, For the last, I said, Leave these things and follow me. Hmm. I just woke up. It was a dream. Leave these things and, and follow, follow me. me. It was a dream. So from then, I began to think from that night. I started thinking. I started thinking. How will it be possible? If I leave these people, how will I be delivered? How will I be free? Because I know it is must continue. Hmm. That is our motto. You must continue death or life, mostly the hermetic chain. Hmm. Must continue. Obony, the same thing. You must not leak their secrets. You must not unveil all those secret things. If you say it, that is that means you are off in this world. Hmm. That was how we be, and it it is like that, except with a mighty hand, <clears throat> like the power of God of choosing. Power. If not, it is not easy. So I begin to think, how can I do this? It took me a lot of time until one day, that is on 1st of January, 2004, I came for change of garment. So that very day it was, the reason was pushing me, go and renounce all the sins. Go and renounce all the sins. In fact, I was contemplating with my spirit and the how, how will it look like? I don't know how I will do this. And this way was telling me, in fact, go. Immediately, I got up and go to testimony stand. And 
tell them everything about me. So then, uh, one of uh, the pastors here, Pastor Sheed, they took me to him. So I told him after the listen, I told him, look at, look at, look at what he said. Listen, he said I should go and testify. That after he will lead me to Jehu to pray, and the way he prayed from that, no that power will have authority over me. Hmm. So I pick up the courage, I testify, and that is the you renounce those I renounce uh, those calls. every court. I renounce all my involvement in every business. I impart everything. I renounce them. Hmm. Okay. So I'm coming. My wife who have been, in fact, uh, asking me to leave all these uh, things, herself was into business of Lekwa, Biapalo. So and that is the only thing that is remaining for us. But that very day, I went to him and I told her, I have found a church and I have made my statement, I have my confessional statement. I have renounced all these things. You see all these things, I'm going to throw them away. And even your business, you are going to stop it. That is where we have a little problem for her to stop. She did not stop for the first time. She was selling the alcohol and joining the church until one day I got up, packed all those things, we did not sell anyone, demolish everything. My uh, labels I printed for my husband, I brought all of them and burned them to ashes. All the awards I received. As a native doctor, as a grandmaster, I brought all of them and burned them to ashes. Hmm. But there are so many other things that remain in my house that that one I needed, in fact, proper confirmation that nothing will happen to me. <laughs> so those things, <laughs> I still leave them inside the house, like these very gods. So within some days, that my testimony came out in a magazine titled The Crumble of the Accord. Mm -hmm, I remember. So it brought, in fact, it heated arguments in so many kingdoms. It brought so many confusions mm. in Lagos here, in my village, in fact, all over the world. Confusion. And uh, in fact, that wanted to draw me back again because I don't know how I defend myself. I don't know where to run to. So what I did, was to run to the church. I met the same pastor Sheed, and he took me to our daddy Jew. So I explained myself to him. In fact, he said, is that why you are afraid? I said, yes, sir. For the first time in my life to answer person, yes, sir. Hmm. He was the first person after I have swallowed that thing that my father gave to me. He was that, the uh, first. Walker. Yes. The first person in my life, that ego, that pride has mm. gone out of my listen. I said, yes, sir. Sorry. That is the problem I have for the first time. So he, he laid his hands upon my head and prayed for me. And he told me that the only savior I have in my life is the word of God. That is the Bible. Mm. He said, I should go Meditate upon the Bible day in, day out, every time in my life. Said, I will never allow this to depart from my hands. Said, that is the Savior I will have. Said, that is the power. And I abide by it. I have Bible read, but I have, I connect that Bible that I used to read in my office this before. I bought another new Bible. So I started reading the Bible, and it really, it helped me. There are so many places I come across the Bible. That in fact, whenever I come and uh, encounter with so many of the problems, I remember that place, I pick courage. Mm. Mostly when I uh, uh, went into the, my, my, my trials and persecutions. When I see what Apostle Paul said, when he said that, uh, uh, that, that there are the many are the afflictions of the righteous, but out of them all, the Lord delivered them. So when I see that place, I pick courage. So all these uh, uh, things, the Bible really helped me, but of the truth, the prayer of a pastor, he said he will continue with me, praying for me for some days. Mm. And uh, really, he did that. He prayed for me. He counseled me, delivered me, just 
draw me closer, not showing me and everything. He even placed me on salary he might have forgotten. Mm. He placed me on salary. But that salary he placed me upon, I did not collect a dime from it because I know it will even make me not to be serious. Mm. I didn't ask for it. Mm. I did not ask for it. To this time, I didn't even remember. I wanted to suffer that persecution that I saw in the Bible so that I will be groomed and be strong. Glory. So I went all through all those things. That very time is a time that I really made up my mind when there are so many, so in fact, so many things I have to call. I never know it was like that. I have to call the ERB of my house then to come and carry all those things. So they came and carried that at Beni, a lot of Ubuni, something alone. So the rest things, I born some of and threw them inside the canal. Mm. And start life afresh, close my wife's shop, born everything that I use for this, all my missionaries, I born, I didn't sell it, I mm. born all of them, threw them inside the canal. Wait, you born the machine you were using to couple a uh, hot drink? All of them. Born all the whole... The labels, the bottles that is remaining, the, the cartons, I just bring them as I thought. People who thought I was, this man has run my but I know what exactly what I'm doing. So this I bought them gen, and sent them to a nearby canal. I threw all of them there and started worshipping this God. Hmm. I started following this God. And far from my sincere heart, I then, it didn't take time. Because of my commitment, I became assistant pastor. Hmm. At a, a labor branch. Wow. Become assistant pastor. Then I preach. Sometimes the, the pastor leave me, I preach. We open the branch together with my pastor, then Pastor Austin Dirich, I think the assistant pastor, assistant pastor of uh, uh, Imo State now. Hmm. We open together. So I continued. That time before I reach my house, sometimes it will be 12 o'clock, sometimes 1 o'clock, because I was going around meeting all those people. Those my people. I was mm. going around preaching to them, telling them what God has done. Mm. I was going around telling so many of them, praying for them, so many of them before I knew it. Without food in my house, without anything in my house, I will leave my children, I will leave my wife with nothing. Okay. My wife is no more selling the fat. You have children? I have six children then. Wow. I have my last children in 2002, twins. Mm. Mm. So I, left. I don't even know whether they are going to school. But I want to in fact, see the end of what I entered it was, as I said before, as I said before, I can never enter into it and I will not see the head. Hmm. So I became truly born again, become a worker in this message, become a pastor. In fact, to the, to the glory of God, I have done so many things in this message that uh, God has seen and started blessing me back. Amen. I will still come to advice. Mm. Before you give that, throw that advice, I would like you to shed more light on this uh, uh, this belief that people are having that you know you know I believe that many people that are into court, on one court or the other, they are watching this program, and they, they have this belief that when they leave the court, they will die, or one thing or the other will happen to them, something negative will happen to them. Now, from your testimony, you can see that you gave the first testimony in 2004. And today, uh, you say, how many years now? And nothing has happened to you. And you said, you have been blessed from glory to glory. So can you advise those that are into court or into one, uh, one court or the other and they are trying to come out, but the fear of unknown is holding them back? My beloved brethren, let me tell us this thing. There are levels of repentance. If you repent genuinely, you don't have any fear, except you have some skeleton in your cupboard, hmm. except you have certain things that needed to be restituted that you did not restitute. Hmm. Then if you leave your former place and go to any church, it is obvious the law will catch up with you. Hmm. So, what I am trying to tell you, 
if you are into any court, any society, secret society, if you have done anything terrible that maybe you are afraid of how to come out, the only solution is genuine repentance. Repent genuinely. Let me illustrate this thing. You see, if man is a child of God, if you are a child of God, that means you are a light. You are a light. And as well, you are ambassador of Christ. Let me tell you, if an ambassador of America to Nigeria is staying here, the power, the security that covers him is from America, not in Nigeria. So, if anything happens to that man, maybe Nigeria is in crisis and maybe there is war. Before you know it, it cannot take more than one hour. America will send their jet and pick that the ambassador. Nothing will do him. It is the same thing. If you are a child of God, you are an ambassador of heaven here in this world. You are ambassador of Christ, representing heaven here on earth. So if anything wants to happen to you, whether from the occultist, whether from uh, uh, any, any, any forces or anything, nothing will happen to you. God will, in fact, stretch forth his safety hands upon you and draw you out. Nothing will happen to you. So there are so many that repented genuinely from their heart. In a wrong church, <laughs> in a church where the truth is not being preached, hmm. and in such a state, there will be a time where you will concur with the doctrines of the church, and they will strike and get the person. Hmm. So that is the thing. So there are two different this things. Is, there is, if it's, if it's more dangerous to repent, uh, to renounce God in a church where there is no power of God. Exactly. To, to exactly. You. Exactly. If you repent genuinely in a church that doesn't, that was not built on righteousness and oh holiness, God, it is, in fact, there is understand. every possibility that you will, in fact, be, be, be attacked by the devil okay. because there is no power to sustain your okay. salvation. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, um, next question we want to ask you. You see, from what you have said, you say that you have never answered anybody, uh, sir. sir, that a general overseer of the Lord Jesus and the Lord was the first person to answer, sir. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and also, you say that um, uh, because of the, you know, uh, the way you went far, deep into occultism, uh, you are not afraid of anybody. At all, at all. But you were surprised that... Uh, our pastor, that day that you fell under anointing, did the pastor touch you? Uh, no, 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 no. How did it happen? I said, it is the power of, he, he did not even near me. Oh my we God. were not close. Oh my God. I was in, uh, in the midst of the congregation while he was releasing the power Try. from the pulpit. And he really hit me. Hmm. And uh, in fact, it was so terrible. I wish that very day will be recorded back mm. for me to feel the same sensation. Hallelujah. That to feel the power of God that very day. I have not seen such power before. And that very day, that was what made me to believe that of the truth. This must be a real servant of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we have a our three full visions and ten blows also mandate. And the first vision say grassroots revival all over the world. And second vision, revival of the apostle Christian experience among the body of Christ. Third vision, revival of heaven consciousness among the believers all over the world. That's heaven at last. And ten blows also mandate. I want to, from your own experience, as we are converted to Christ, as you were converted to Christ in this Lord choosing, uh, can you tell us were there people that saw your repentance and it triggered them to willingly give their life to Christ? Knowing fully well if that if this man that people are fearing, people dread, can repent 
what am I doing? Maybe and people that are into court, maybe one small court or another, when they see a grandmaster repenting, I don't know if I'm getting my question. Was there anything like that? People that saw your repentance and because of your repentance, they decided to say, okay, let me also repent because this man that I saw, you know. There are people that repented because of my confession. Hmm. So many of them that I knew. And I know there are thousands of them that repented also. Those that had my testimony. Mm. Not the one that I gave in the I gave in the church. But on my personal evangelism. evangelism in the buses, in the market. I could remember I went to so many markets. I went to Tejucho Market. I went to Ushud Market, so many markets then I went to see, share the same testimony. I went to East and share the same testimony. In fact, so I went to, uh, to my, own, my own town, mm. share the same for them to know that it is not a, a, a fake. I went to Newe and share, and that's in the first uh, uh, crusade. We heard, outside crusade we heard at Newe. I was there, I shared the same testimony, and that testimony triggered, I think, the... Uh, this the, the chief of Navy that time he came to the okay, yes, and he, yes, yes. I, I think he repented that time. Yes. yes, there was other people that repented because of that, that uh, testimony. In my closest, I make sure I reach so many of those people that I initiated because there are so many, so many of them that I initiated in Tobun. Mm. So many of them. There is one this particular person I will not mention the name. A high rank army officer. I initiated him, and she said the wife. And uh, immediately he heard that I have repented. In fact, he also threw away, he called me and asked me, how can he do all those things I give to him? I said, bring them out, pray over them, burn them. Mm -hmm. And as you are burning them, make sure you live right. If not, there will be consequences. And of a truth, the man repented genuinely. And because of that, I think he resigned from Miami because I don't know what he's mm. doing. That is, he resigned and become a real child of God. There are so many of them, so many people that I initiated. I went to them house to house, talk salvation into their life. Mm. I tell them why it is necessary that they should repent. Say, so, take example from me. All of you know me. One happened the ERB of that of Obuni of my Obuni house. The air is a. Uh, Picture. In fact, they, they put his picture in the, yeah, the magazine, morning. yes, and cover the eyes. But that didn't bring a very big problem, which landed the woman into a very big problem <laughs> because she wanted to dare the God of Chosen. God of she choosing. wanted to dare God of Not to, the, so many of them. So many has left. So many has, uh, in fact, has gone <laughs> because they want to dare the God of Chosen. In fact, I know that God is fighting my battle and just asked me to hold my peace. <laughs> So that woman tried all, in fact, it started, God started showing her that the place you are going is a no-go area. No-go area. Yes. So she planned to arrest me with police. The day she planned to get me arrested for putting her picture in a magazine, exposing her, that very day, she was arrested for the case she did not know about. Aye, God don't choose You see how this happened? She got up early in the morning and see a ram tied by the side of his uh, uh, house. And she was jubilating that somebody, maybe somebody wants to come and do uh, some works. Doesn't know that it's a student ram. Kai. So the people that got the ram, that uh, owned the ram, came around and saw it there and get her arrested. The same day that she wanted to arrest me. Kai. I did not know what is happening. So the second attempt, she wanted to thought for free her this thing. the same day she was arrested again for another case that has nothing to do with her but had the son the son fought somebody and uh, in fact those people came to uh, to arrest the son because they accused the son of stealing food and taking some money which is false hmm. the handwork of god of choosing god of choosing she was arrested I fear him at and he, she, this woman i'm telling you is somebody that no police can lay hands upon her you dare not lay hands upon her. But they detain her, put her inside cell. And they bear her with almost 150,000 for just little kids. Hmm. So after this thing, in fact, I went to her house. I don't know what is happening. Hmm. 
She was the one that was telling me this by herself. You don't mean it? Yes, I went there with my Bible for the first time because I was nursing the fear. Maybe this mm. man will. So I went, uh, I went there just after praying. When the woman saw me, she, just, she became happy. And in fact, we were discussing in her house, because she's the one of the house. He said, in fact, that this God that I am serving is a true God. Aye. By her mouth, she says so. He said, you are serving the God. And she speaks your but not mm -hmm. just, she doesn't hear English so much. She was talking to me because I understand your well. He said, this God you are serving, in fact, is a true God. Say, I should sit down. Hmm. She sent her, uh, one of her sons to go and get me a mot. They bought the mot. The mot, in fact, I don't want to take it immediately. I said, I wanted to hear what you want to say before I drink the mot. I keep the mot. I don't want to drink the mot. So she started telling me, narrating all the stories, how she was arrested, all the plans she has against me and this. And they tell me what they have planned in the palace of... Uh, 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 this, uh, I, I won't mention them. One of the king makers in this Lagos state was hmm. assembled there because of me. What they have said, so many, some said they will kill, some said they will kill the enemy and not me, some said they will blind the enemy and not me. And he said, What she intend to do is to take police to and arrest me. And all this, is said, every effort she made bounced back on her. Hi. Each time she make an attempt, she will, it will bounce back on her. God, so see. she decided to come to my house and tell me about this before I came to her house. And that is how I began to tell the woman, say, that is why I am here. I say, you know me when I was with you. You know my power, you know my levels. And you know, after, apart from, you say, uh, medicine or sham or something like this, you know that physically, I have connections to tie you and throw you inside canal. Because hmm. I have people. You made it? Yes. In the government? In the government, in fact, the area boys and all those criminals, they, all, they know me. Hmm. They all know me. You see, you know, I have the power to do that. But I leave all these things and focus on this God. I say, this God that I have embraced should persist every other God. Hmm. I say, you may not understand because you don't read Bible. So let me read one place for you. I open Colossians 1.16. I read it to her and, and I explain. I, I would like her to... Colossians one system. Uh, but the thing is becoming very, very interesting. Look at it. Colossians one system. He mm. said, By him we are all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, or principalities, or powers. All things were created by him and for him. 17 says, And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Wow. So I explain this thing to her, and tell her that you see all these things here. You see all these things. It is this God that has served and created them. <laughs> and it's not for your purpose. He created it for his own purpose. Are not for you. So all these things you are doing here, they are nonsense. It is better you will burn them. Burn all of them and embrace this God that I serve. Mm. She kept quiet for a while and let her tell him that, in fact, if she repents now that she is not like me, that I can have, can, that I have the brain to formulate any business. I, I told her, what you will do is not a problem. Immediately you repent. God will show you what to do. Told me that she will repent, but not in my church. So my concern was for her to repent first. Then I asked her to go and make restitution in the church. Eventually, she entered the church and did not make any restitution, but let her come back to her normal life. So, but of a truth, she has realized that there is power in where I belong, the Lord's chosen church. Mm. So that's the... Okay, um, uh, by the grace of God, uh, um, this uh, program is very, very educative. Now, I want to ask you a final question. What do you have to say 
about the general version of the Lord choosing the calling of God upon his life and the Lord choosing church as regard to possessing this power that brought you down under anointing. Honestly, when I noticed and hear the visions, the mandates of this church, I quickly understand that this church, the Lord's chosen church, is a place to be. I quickly understand that the general overseer of this church is called by God mm. because I have not had such vision before. Mm. I have not had somebody that has such mandate before. That the vision, <laughs> grass revival, I saw it in the Bible. Second vision, revival of the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ. It is written in the Bible. Mm. Then the last vision, revival of heaven consciousness in the heart of every true believer all over the world. It is in the Bible. Mm. So I quickly know that in fact this is a package vision and from heaven. Package vision from heaven. Then you follow suit a mandate to win 10 billion souls. While the entire world is not up to 10 billion, mm -hmm. I say it is, in fact, visions and mandates from heaven direct. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you uh, finally, uh, Pastor Simeon. Now, the viewers are watching, they are glued to the television, they are watching, uh, they have been following this interactive uh, 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 interview. And what do you have to tell them? What I want to tell them, many of them. They, they want to join one church or the other, but they are confused. Now, advise them on what to do. I want to cancel whosoever that is watching me all over the world. I thank God choosing is no more a mushroom church. Choosing is no more a church that is, in fact, particularized in a particular place. Choosing is all over the world. I want to use this media to invite you to this ministry, where the truth is being preached, where the power of God is being moved in action. Mm. Come, no matter whatever be your problem, come and meet this very God. The God is here to do you good. Amen. He will give you salvation. Amen. He will give you life. Amen. He will give you healing. Amen. In fact, He will give you prosperity. Amen. There is nothing you look in this church that God cannot give to you. Come, the anointing servant of God, the man whom God has, in fact, chosen to pilot the affairs of this ministry is called by God. I have testified. I have seen. And I can, in fact, wholly tell you that there is power in God of choosing. There is power in this ministry. We invite you. Come and join us to revive the entire world and bring them unto perfection. May mm -hmm. God bless you. Viewers, uh, this is where we are drawing the curtain. For this edition, remember you are watching Choosing Revival No CRM program. I cancel death and love. I lose you. I set you free. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. A father in heaven by your authority. I cancel the HIV. You spirit of madness, come out in Jesus' name. You are healed. I say you are healed. I use you, I set you free. And that person who has been in hell for you cannot deliver. I pray to you, go and deliver like a Hebrew woman in Jesus' name. You are healed. Young man, you are healed. I say you are healed. This job started 16 years ago, but today God has chosen to break that yoke. Every split of fear paralysis, I rebuke you, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I command every abnormal growth disappear in Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. You are free. 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 You are free.